What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. I hope to see you guys later in a live stream. We will be back and doing a little bit more of an extended look at these players because we do have a couple of contracts that we want to use, right? So a lot of people have been asking me about the breakout stars. We've already covered pretty much everything in this pack already. If you have missed any of the videos, we will do a fresh refresher course on this as well. We've already covered the Inter Milan uh, boys and the Italian league, right? But we are going to focus on the breakout stars here. On first look, right, I kind of dismissed a couple of these and I was like, ah, I mean, it's kind of a weak enough pack. But depending on where you are with your squad, with your team, and if you're trying to do something a little bit different, there are a couple of interesting players in here, right? So if you are a newcomer to the game, you actually can unlock a free five-star nominating contract if you haven't won or if you've just downloaded the game fresh within the match pass. So you just go to the missions tab, you go to match pass, and after the 15th match that you play across any game, it can be friendly, it can be co-op, it can be anything that you play. Once you play and complete a match against the AI, against online, anything, you will get a free five star and be able to get any of these players, especially the players from the new breakout stars, which if you are starting off can be a bit game changing, right? So we will talk about the two or three top guys, but we will cover them all extensively as well, right? Now, I've seen a couple of people ask me about Lobotka. We are going to talk about him and I'm going to give you my opinion on him and one key stat I think that is going to make this card monstrous, right? Especially if you're looking for a free five star, okay? So we're going to kick off. And we are going to start with the goalkeeper. Now, I'm going to go over to eFootballDB. Um, they've got all the, everything updated. So we're going to go over here and have a look at the players, right? And we're going to simulate everything that we want to see with the players, right? So we're going to start off with Bono, or as I call him, Bono from U2. This guy goes 20 levels. He's an offensive goalkeeper. As I've always said, right, there's two choices of goalkeeper. And this is why this guy as the breakout star is a great choice if you are focused on having a tall, strong, physically dominant goalkeeper like Schmeichel, like Petr Cech, um, like Donnarumma, like Oblak. If you are looking for a smaller base goalkeeper like Kaylor Navas or somebody like Cassius or uh, Cassius or somebody like that, I always call him Cassius lads. But uh, if you want to go that route, I think that's a different video. But for this one, I'm going to just focus on his reflexes, right? I'm going to pop that to 88. A nice base for any goalkeeper that you're training up is to go 8-8 eight, eight, and maybe 6 on the first one. Anytime you get to an 88 level here for goalkeepers, unless you're going to go to the 90 zone, you don't really need to worry about it too much. And I'm just going to pop two more into his reflexes. Look, he's a fairly okay goalkeeper. He's not going to be world beaten. He's not going to save a lot of chances, especially if you do manual goalkeeping with him. That is going to be a slight concern. But in terms of what you're getting with him, right, you do have the high punt, long throw and penalty saver. And he has unwavering form as well. So he is kind of a bit of a presence in the goal. Do I still recommend Donnarumma or Oblak or Courtois standard edition over him? Yes. So I probably wouldn't waste, or not even waste, but consume my free five-star nominating contract on this guy. You can just buy a goalkeeper from the standard GP marketplace and make do with that because you're not going to have a massive difference between having a goalkeeper like this guy in goals or Donnarumma. But the one difference is, is that you can't get back your five-star nominating contract you can also, uh, you can always raise more GP, right? So that's going to kick us off with this. Now we're going to cover a couple of the smaller guys here, and I'm just going to go over again to eFootballDB and get all of these guys up. So we're going to cover the first three here and talk about them in a little bit of detail. All right, so the first place, first player we're going to look at is Abde. Now this guy was on the books at Barca before uh, his move to Galatasaray. He's a pretty decent player, right? We've got a very solid base of him here. We've 8 into dribbling, we've 12 into dexterity, and we've 6 into lower body. Now, this is where you kind of make a decision on what type of winger that you need. If you play a lot of crosses in, because his stats are pretty set here, right? If you play a lot of crosses in, even though he doesn't have brilliant player skills, you can get his passing up to 72, which isn't really that great, right? Sorry, guys, I need to burp. Shooting is only going to go to 74, which again, I don't think it's worth putting it in. This is a specialist impact player. So I'm going to just double down on his speed and his acceleration and his dribbling. And I'm going to get 88 offensive awareness, 88 dribbling and 91 acceleration with 84 speed. I think that's a bit, a bit of a monstrous card. Very, very decent winger if you're looking to get somebody like that. And look... You have to kind of limit your expectations because this guy is a three star, okay? Um, and the rest of them are four star and five star. So that is a really, really solid three star card if you are looking to start off with somebody on the wing. Next up, we've got Kirkis. This guy is 39 levels to go, 76 progression points. And this is how we've boosted him up. Fairly easy left back to use. 
um, pinpoint crossing, which is mean, me, means that we're going to bring up the cross and the lofted pass as much as we can. 88 speed, acceleration and stamina, pretty decent. 80 balance, 83 dribbling, and then the passing stats. Vanderson is going to be the same type of player, just a little bit more defensive. So while we don't really train up his defense that much here, we get it to 70 aggression. Vanderson is going to have 81 aggression while still having 88 speed, stamina, bit of acceleration, and the passing is similar as well. So both similar players, not amazing players. They're definitely not worth it in my opinion, but still solid players if you get them, if you have a free uh, nominating contract floating around. Olis from Crystal Palace. This guy is a bit of an interesting choice, okay? Right midfielder, you're taking a look at his speed, his acceleration, his balance, his ball control, dribbling, and high possession. And they're all top tier, right? The problem is, is that this guy has pretty much kind of nearly got too much going on for him, right? So you do have to pick what type of player that you want. With this build, we've put six into passing to get his lofted pass and low pass up to the 78 and 79 zone. But you could also just leave that and go for finishing, which gives you 72, which is enough to get some scores from tap-ins. But you're not really going to be, you know, changing the dial too much with your squad, right? I do like the fact that they give a nice uh, blend of players here um, because you have got a lot of players that you are going to be looking at to take for four stars and five stars. And there's a big difference between Abdi being a three star and thinking, yeah, I could get him if you've got a lot of three stars compared to five stars, which are a little bit more rare. So keep that in mind as well if you are looking at players there um, when you're taking down, you know, notes on what kind of players that you want. This guy, again, for a center midfielder, Fagioli is a fantastic player as well. 90 ball control. I think when you put him on his own, he's a good player, but his lack of player skills and the fact as well that he is a five star is a bit of a killer on this card, lads, right? Yes, he has nice player skills with one touch pass through passing, his standard form, which is pretty poor, but the rest of his stats are good. But I mean, when you take a look at Labotka, who's coming up here, if we were to utilize him as a CMF or an attacking midfielder, there is no real. I don't think there's any comparison between the five star. I mean, some five star players are just phenomenally better, and this guy falls into that trap of it, right? We also have Turam here, who we're going to take a look at. A lot of people talking about this guy. There's multiple builds you could do for Turam. I think this is the best version of him. You've got double touch, you've got one touch pass, you've got no look, you've got long range shooting and soul control, you've got interception and slide tackling. And you can get his defense stats all into the 80s with speed, high 80s, acceleration into 80, kick and power, physical contact, stamina, low pass, dribbling, everything 80s. It's 80 across the board. This guy kind of reminds me of Anguisa, who they released a couple of weeks ago, and kind of similar enough to Goretzka, if you have used Goretzka. He's a fantastic box-to-box. -box. He's fairly tall as well, so he's got a lot going for him, right? So when you are looking at the cards, as I said, um, in-game, it's always interesting to see how kind of they play, like box to box, their actual play style, right? I am going to be doing a video on that um, because there is a lot of depth to it and showing you the different way that the players move on the pitch. But yeah, I mean, next up we have this guy, Normand. This guy is a pretty decent player as well. Blocker interception. He's a unit, right? He's not uh, like he's not unreal tall, right? But he is still a unit with good defensive stats, very, very solid levels that you can go up as well. And he's actually pretty easy to train up because we're just going to max out his defensive stats with 11 into defending, 4 into goalkeeper 1, which gives us the boost to the jump. And then you're going to have 92, 88, 86, and 86, right? That's as good as you're going to get him. Now, you could, if you wanted to take away all of these and just pump him into defense and you get the defending up into the, you know, the 90 zone nearly with aggression and defensive engagement, 95 to awareness and 91 tackling. But I do think that this guy is a bit of a beast when you throw, throw on a bit of dexterity to him, especially to get it to 70 and you get that up as well. I don't think you're going to see a massive difference between, you know, 87 aggression or 88 aggression because you don't get the boost to it. So... That is one thing to look at if you are taking a player like Normand. Um, not, I would say that there's a lot of better GP standard cards there, right? We're kind of getting into the interesting ones now. Ramos from Benfica. This guy is just an average enough center forward. He's a little bit slow. We do have high offensive awareness, brilliant finishing, balance and acceleration for a tall man. He's a really good goal poacher. One touch pass. Heading is really, really good as well. Acrobatic finishing is nice, but his header and jump stats are just average. Now it's starting to get interesting, right, lads? Because these are definitely the two picks of it. We've actually got two builds of Labotka, okay, that we're going to show you here. We've got two builds of Labotka. Um, just in case I didn't show that one there, lads, that is Ramos there, and that is Norman there. I don't know that I switched the screens over, but yeah, Ramos, you can pause the video there and take the build if you want that. The first version of Labotka, lads, is going to be maxed out defense, right? So you can see here that his stats are insanely good ball control, dribble, and tight possession for a DMF, right? His balance, his stamina, his acceleration, and his ball control, dribbling, passing stats are off 
the charts, right? On top of that, straight off the rip with 35 levels to train, he's got 78 aggression. This card could potentially be the best five star that they have released in months. I would say I would put Rudiger and Rice up there um, with insane five star free cards. This guy, I mean, is insane, lads. He's ridiculously good. You've got two builds of him here that we're going to show you. So the first build is going to be a DMF. He's a 93 rated uh, DMF. We've maxed out 17 points into his defendant, which is going to give us a really good rating. Everything here that you see with the player form arrow, because he is going to be up a lot, even though he's only got standard form. Every time I've used him, he's he's up. Lads, his form arrow is up. He's up for the match. Defensive awareness engagement will get the boost with the form arrow. Aggression is 95 at that. Tackling is 93. You've also got all your attack stats in the 80s, and you've got 80 speed, 88 balance, and 84 acceleration. This guy is going to be Kante on steroids, lads. Absolutely insane. If you throw a couple of player skills on him based on the position you want to play him, like blocker, interception, uh, man marking, slide tackle, you have probably one of the best players in the game for free. So that is one build of him. The second build that we're going to look at is a more attacking based build, right? So I have a video coming out today or tomorrow where I talk about overall rating and not to make mistakes with training guides. I still see people make uh, mistakes with training guides. Um, so, you know, obviously, you know, weigh up everything, right? You will see here that Labaka, this version of Labaka is a 92 rated DMF. You're thinking, oh, he's way, he's not as good as this 93 rated defensive version. Well, we're training him in a completely different way, right? You can see down here that when we play him as a central midfielder with these stats and this build, he's going to be a 97 overall. So he's even going to be better than the defensive player that we had there a minute ago. So all we're going to do is we're going to pop four into defending and then we're going to pop seven into passing, eight into dribbling. That's going to bring us into the 80 zone in or the 90 zone in pretty much everything here when we have the player form arrow, even just the other form arrow that, that's not the top one, right? 11 into dexterity, a little bit overkill, and 11 into lower body strength, a little bit overkill as well, right? So there's a couple of tweaks that you can make to this. I would probably just take off this down to 88 stamina, okay? You have enough in the 88 stamina to get around the pitch. You can also throw fighting spirit on him if you want him to play that role. But this defensive, or this attacking version of him, right, is going to be not really worried about getting around the pitch. He's going to be sitting in the pocket, and he's going to be driving forward. He's got similar kind of play style to the smaller base players like Pedri that have low center of gravity, really high balance, excellent on the ball skills, one touch pass, double touch, way to pass, true pass, and low lofted pass, soul control and scotch move. So he's able to do it all, right? If you're able to control him. And also on top of that, we've got nine more points left that you can pop on if you want to bring his passing into the 90 zone there. And we can put the dribbling into all the 90s there. We still have one left over that we can pop on to any play style that you want. So we'll throw it into possession game to have 99 possession game to give your team a little boost if other players are on 90. This is a ridiculously stacked card, lads. One of the best that they've released as an orchestrator as well. It just doubles down as a brilliant creative player. And then last but not least, we do have Isaac from Newcastle. Isaac is a very good player as well. I would liken him to a little bit of kind of like Mbappe, but not as fast, not as rapid, not as good. But he's excellent in the air for a player that doesn't have much ability with the stats, right? So they had released a standard version. They had released a player of the week version with the 88 speed. So we've kind of reduced that speed a little bit, but up the uh, offensive awareness and up the finishing. So you can see there that this guy had 84 offensive awareness with 83 finishing, 86 tight possession. We've gone for a slightly more balanced build if you're looking for somebody that I suppose can come on as an impact player, right? If you're playing the game a long time, lads, and you have a really stacked team and you have a couple of five stars, all you're looking for in these selections, right, is for impact players to bring them on. Score a lot of goals when they come on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and give your team a fresh boost, right? I would say that Labotka is a fantastic option if you have a free five-star knocking around. And Isaac, I would throw in there as well. Turam is fantastic as well if you're looking for something a little bit different. The rest of the pack is middle of the road. It depends on where you are with your team, your squad, your formation, your tactics, and your skill level. But I definitely think that Labotka, lads, I mean... He's just insane. I mean, look at his stats, man. Absolutely ridiculously good defensively. And then attacking, you've got all those options with the 90s. So let me know what you guys think. I'll be back with some more videos. We've got a lot of training guides coming, lads. And I mean a load of detailed stuff. You know where to find it. It's going to be here. We're doing training guides. We're beasting. We're going to be doing live streams as well later. So hope to see you guys there. And uh, yeah, that is it for me. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Peace.